All right, I am going to take where we left off on the last video and use this to find the maximum and minimum values. So this would be like our number four. Find maximum and minimum values. I like this problem because it has one of each. Okay, maximum values, the top of the hill. Minimum values, the bottom of the valley. Okay, so our maximum, this is our, um, in your book, these are not exact maximums. They are called relative maximums. Okay, so our, why don't I call it a relative maximum? So, relative, what does that mean? It's higher than other points around it, but it truly is not the highest point on the graph. Why? Because we have an arrow here, and that means it goes on forever going up. Oh, so that's why this is not a true maximum. So we're going to put in the word relative. And then relative minimum. Okay. Now, relative maximum. From our estimated points, it is the point negative 4, 8. So... The maximum, a relative maximum, is the point, it's the y value. So it's when y equals 8. And the way our textbook does it, they actually give you, have you do the actual points. So, negative 4, comma, 8. And then relative minimum it is roughly here at negative one, negative four. All right. That's not too bad. Have fun with these.